Okay, real quick, I'm going to talk about um, how to load a preset onto a channel. Okay, so a channel preset. So let's say we've got, um, uh, we're, we're setting up, we're coming in for the day, we're looking at, um, on the stage or wherever to see who's playing and who's doing what. Um, and, you know, normally we just kind of start from scratch, see what uh, maybe, you know, the base was plugged into, and then we would go and hopefully this is what we've been doing. We would go and then EQ it specifically for the base, or sometimes we'd probably just leave it set up like it was. And the problem is maybe last week that was set up like a, like a vocals channel, and now it's a bass, so the EQ is going to be off, and it might be a little bit different. Um, what we can do with this board is we can actually, when we find a setting we like for something, um, we can save that as a preset on the channel and then just reload it the next time. So um, let's say I lead worship one week, um, and then the next week I'm off, and then I come back, and um, now the board's all set up for somebody else. Maybe this channel is even used for something completely different. Um, but now I'm back, and so we had it sounding good that last week. Instead of just trying to guess and get it back again, we can just load this preset back up, and it's just like it was. Okay. So to do that, um, let's say that uh, that we we've done that, and and we really like um, this uh, this setting here for uh, for. Uh, my, my vocals. Okay, we'll hit select on that channel, and then over here on the screen, we're going to go um, and push the library button, and we're going to see this list of, of presets. Okay, um, you can scroll down um, here with either one of these knobs, and if we want to save, we're going to use this this encoder here under the save preset button. We're going to go down to an empty channel, and we're going to push, we're going to click it, and it's going to ask you what to name it. Pick whatever you want to name it, scroll and click and do whatever. I'm just going to name it whatever I just typed there, BDEG, and then you click save. And now right there is BDEG. So then let's say next week I come in, um, or maybe I decided to switch channels for whatever reason, and we now need to be on channel 12. Now I want to load that preset we just made, or a preset we made a month ago. Then um, I select this channel, go to library, here on the board, and uh, I just scroll with this fader to whichever one I want to load. So if I want to load this BDEG, um, I click click this button, load preset. It's going to ask me to load it to current channel. Make sure this is right. Select yes, I want it on channel 12, and I hit yes. And then uh, the fader jumps. It's blue, and um, you know, my everything's written in there like it needs to be. All the settings are the same for my. Um, uh, so since it's the same channel, we can click over and see. All the settings are oops, wrong one. All the settings are the same for the equalizer and the the preamps. There's everything. Um, it's it's all exactly the same. It's just like you saved that channel and, and moved it over. Um, and so now forever and ever, as long as it's in the board, I can go and recall that setting. Over here, it kind of shows you what that um, uh, what the what all you saved. Um, so this is the preamp here. This is the de the delay, but uh, don't worry about that. And th these are various things, the low cut, the EQ, the, um, the dynamics, the noise gate, all these settings are saved here. Um, uh, and they can be recalled. So it's, it's very simple. Um, over here on this side, you see it says uh, the recall scope. Um, so if you, this is choosing what, which things you want to recall. So maybe I want to recall um, uh, all of this all of this stuff, but I got a new compressor setting that I really like already on the channel. So I would deselect the compressor here. Whoops, that was the equalizer, sorry. And that was the sims. I'm all over the place. There we go, compressor. And then now I could reload that preset onto a channel, and it would bring all these settings over except for the compressor settings, because I've decided I want to keep it. Um, I could also do the uh, configuration here. Um, if I wanted to maybe bring uh, this, you know, this setting that's Nate guitar, I wanted to bring it on to channel 11, um, but I didn't want the configuration settings. I just hit load. Yes. Now it's here, but it doesn't have it doesn't have my name. It doesn't have the scribble strip. It doesn't have whatever. So that's useful if you know I, I want to bring up maybe my vocals as a starting point for um, uh, Matt Baton when Matt Baton comes in to sing. And I want to I want to start here because I know it'll be close. I can just reload my thing without the configuration. Then I can relabel this as Matt vocals and whatever, but I've got a general close start with my EQs and compressors and everything. I know it's going to be close. It might be a little bit different, but it's going to be close. 
Um, so that's how you load and save presets. Um, the other thing that you can do um, is copy and paste channels. And that's really, really easy. So um, if you go to, you pick a channel that you want to copy. So let's say we want to copy Ethan's guitar. Um, we select that channel. We go to the, to the home button here and you push uh, utility. Okay, and all this utility button here, it's not its own menu, but in any other menu, you can 